almost one billion people in the world don't have access to electricity. Imagine what it would be like for you to go home, flick that switch and not be able to turn the lights on. What would it be like if your children or your loved ones couldn't turn on the lights at night when it's dark? They can't do their homework. They can't do their homework. They don't do well in school. They don't do well in school. They have no livelihood in future. We do need increasing energy because that's what's going to help lift people out of poverty, right? As when people get access to energy, their lives improve considerably. But we also know that there's a dual energy challenge. We need to continue to meet the world's demand for energy, but we need to do so with far fewer emissions. So this energy demand is increasing, but at the same time, we need to drastically reduce emissions by at least 45% over the same time periods so at 20, 30 years to meet the goals of the Paris Climate Change Agreement. About 85% of the world's energy is coming from fossil fuels. So changing that system isn't going to happen overnight. We've been in the energy business for over 100 years, so we have a huge amount of skills, capability and knowledge as to how the energy system works. And the way we're working on that within BP is through something called the Reduce, Improve, Create framework. So that's reducing emissions in our own operations, um, improving our products to help customers lower their emissions, and creating and investing in low carbon businesses. In terms of transport, for example, we have the UK's largest uh, electric vehicle charging network and BP Chargemaster. We now have over 7,000 charging points across the UK. For all the electricity that we use for BP Chargemaster, it's 100% renewable. At the moment in the world, we have about 5 million electric vehicles and we could have as many as 350 million electric vehicles over the next 20 to 30 years. And all of those vehicles and customers will need access to convenient, reliable and fast charging at service stations. Lightsource BP is a solar development company and it operates in 10 countries across the world. So everywhere from Brazil to India and across Europe. BP um, became part of that partnership in the last few years to help expand its reach and to help really grow the pace of solar across the world. In today's world, the energy industry need to make sure that we meet the needs of local communities and respect their wishes. BP Target Neutral has been operating for over 10 years now. By buying carbon offsets through this project, BP Target Neutral is supporting financing of projects that not just provide access to energy, but are absolutely critical in improving health of low-income families. Over 4 million people die prematurely every year from household pollution. They don't have access to clean fuels for cooking and heating inside their households. The Cookstove project has benefited 25,000 households in rural Mexico and actually uses 58% less firewood. They have previously used uh, solid burning fuels inside their house. This has contributed to a reduction of over 40,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide emissions every year. In Tangu, in Indonesia, and the local communities there only had access to energy for about 12 hours a day. What we did in Tangu was work with the local electricity company and, and, the, and the government to be able to provide access to electricity for the local community, to help them improve their human development. This was particularly important because it meant that local people, local communities, could now focus their time on their own needs and what they really wanted to do, rather than how to get fuel to provide power and electricity for the very basic things in life. Significantly, hospitals could actually dedicate more of their budgets to hiring doctors and nurses and providing services to people, rather than having to pay for diesel fuel and generators. The world will need many forms of energy for many years to come and there isn't a silver bullet to solving this. This is one of the world's greatest challenges and we really see ourselves as part of the solution and not part of the problem. It's important that you kind of bring together all elements of society to get after these complex challenges. The very environment that we're trying to steward and protect is inextricably linked with human needs and human development. We make sure that at the end of the day people's health needs are met whilst also provide access to energy to the world's poorest, 
preserve our forests and our oceans for future generations. I'm a natural optimist and I am hopeful. The nations of the world gathered together in 2015 and agreed that action needed to be done on climate change under the Paris Agreement. From society's perspective, I don't think awareness of climate change issues has ever been so high. Over six million people marched around New York Climate Week demanding action. And the final reason why I'm optimistic is because of technology. Things are changing at a rate that we never could have anticipated. And the, the range of technological solutions that we as a company alone are involved in gives me hope every day.